SLU is an exciting place to do research. It's growing, there's sort of this vibrant buzz. It doesn't take much to get me excited to come into lab every day, but it certainly helps that it's in the university's interest to keep supporting cutting edge researchers. Research really matters. Acquiring new knowledge to impact humanity. We have a lot of support from the Research Institute in making that happen. In 2018, St. Louis University announced a $50 million gift from Dr. Jeannie and Rex Sinkfield. That gift established the St. Louis University Research Institute. It also set us on a new trajectory. SLU is set to take its place among the world's leading research universities. The kind of university that we are evolving into is incredibly responsive to the world's needs. What we've been able to do through the Sinkfield gift is recruit and retain and celebrate absolutely spectacular research faculty. Imagine interacting with any type of technology and feeling like it was designed just for you. Where humans are often required to accommodate technology, PATH seeks instead to augment human capability and capacity. We applied for the Big Idea Grant, which is funded through the Research Institute. By having that seed funding to just get some initial pilot data, we can grow. Feeding the growing population is a global grand challenge. I develop technologies that can automate crop monitoring, and the Research Institute has been providing some seed grants to help faculty research in a significant way. Last couple of years, I successfully secured our $6 million of grants and contracts, and I think this is highly attributed to the investment from Research Institute. There was a real alignment with the mission at SLU and my sort of vision of taking computer science and using it for the social good. My research focuses on using computer vision and machine learning to combat human trafficking. The Research Institute has given me the capacity to bring in students who can help apply machine learning, computer vision. Those are the sorts of resources without which we couldn't be doing the sorts of good work that we are doing today at St. Louis University. The AHEAD Institute, the Advanced Health Data Research Institute, was really right along the lines of where my career was heading, and so uh, St. Louis U was probably the best place to do the kind of work that I'm moving towards and, and engaging in. My interests are primarily in addiction research, or substance use disorders is the clinical term. The strengths of the Research Institute and the strengths of St. Louis U are its strategic vision. We've really chosen areas that we want to excel at. Health data research is going to be our, our emerging area of excellence. Funding from the Research Institute, we, we just recently purchased a machine, and this machine allows you to look at an individual cell and all the genes that the individual cells are expressing. It's going to open up a lot of doors for a lot of researchers to do some of the most innovative research in the country, I think. When I started, St. Louis University was very siloed, and since the Research Institute, the environment is completely different. It has become an exciting and really invigorating place to be. We work on topics that matter, and we do affect the lives of real people. St. Louis is poised to become a global geospatial center, improving SLU's reputation as a nation's top research university, contribute to local economic development, workforce training, helps every sector of the university and in this community. We are focusing on brain cancer in particular. What we're developing today, one day could lead to patients just having a better quality of life or maybe being cured. We're very much interested in chronic neuropathic pain. One of our programs now is actually in a phase one clinical trials in patients with breast cancer. Our goal is really to impact human suffering. Mankind will benefit. The focus of the research is really on those diseases that aren't necessarily the most profitable but can really make a huge impact for, for many people around the world. We work on tuberculosis, malaria, cryptosporidium is a parasite that leads to malnutrition and cognitive delays in, in kids, and especially in Africa. 
We're called to care for others, and this is one way that we can do that. My research studies the immune system, how the body protects itself from various infectious agents like COVID-19. We hear from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, we were able to use your tool in investigation. Sometimes it's heartbreaking, right? I mean, I work on very difficult problems. Through my training and through the resources that I have from the Research Institute and the resources that I've gotten through my grants, I'm actually able to do something about it. When we created a strategic plan, I heard loud and clear that the faculty wanted an investment in scholarship and research to make the world the place we envision with our mission. The Sinkfield gift allows us to do that. This is a start, a very, very significant start, obviously, but it's really meant to accelerate us uh, forward. Any amount of gift is meaningful. We can fund students who can generate pilot data that brings in much more money. But it's not just about bringing in the money. Like that student's experience at SLU was changed because they got to do research in a vibrant research lab. I know for me, doing research as an undergraduate definitely steered me to want to go into graduate school. It gives us the resources we need to go out and get federal funding. These donations help seed a much larger enterprise. To seed for research successes, teaching and learning successes, creating the SLU experience to be something renowned. There is a focus on doing good for our community. It's really unique, it's what drew me to SLU, it's what makes me so happy to be part of the research community here.